Eight years ago, today, in this very room, one of the greatest thought leaders ever known in the 21st century was assassinated. And since that time, there has been speculation as to who was involved in the assassination of Malcolm X. We know on November 18th, 2021, it was confirmed and substantiated that the government agencies, the New York Police Department, the FBI, the District Attorney of New York had factual evidence, exculpatory evidence, that they fraudulently concealed from the men who were wrongfully convicted for the assassination of Malcolm X, and they also fraudulently concealed that information, most importantly, from the family of Malcolm X. We know that based on their wrongful conviction that the government settled the matter of Mr. Azir and Mr. Ism, Mr. Aziz, for tens of millions of dollars. This is important for many reasons. One of the most important reasons, it gives Malcolm's daughters an opportunity to seek legal redress, finally, based on the government's admission that they conceal evidence involving the assassination of Malcolm X, the truth of what happened and who was involved has always been critical. So today, at the Malcolm X and Dr. Betty Shabazz Memorial <clears throat> and Educational Center, we announce and give formal notice to the city of New York, the state of New York, and the federal government and its agencies, the FBI and the CIA, that the family members intend to sue bring a wrongful death lawsuit based on these new revelations that have now finally been substantiated. And the rhetorical question is this. If the government compensated the two gentlemen that were wrongfully convicted for the assassination of Malcolm X with tens of millions of dollars, then what is to be the compensation for the daughters who suffered the most from the assassination of Malcolm X. We intend to have 
vigorous litigation of this matter to have discovery to be able to take depositions of the individuals who are still alive 58 years later to make sure that some measure of justice can be given to Malcolm X's daughters who in this very room were present with their mother when he was shot at 21 times 17 bullets hitting him. If anybody deserves justice after these decades, it is these women. So at this time, you will hear from Malcolm's daughter, Eliasa Sirbaz. On February 21st, 1965, my mother came here excited to see her husband because a week prior, her home had been firebombed. She walked in here happy and she left out shattered. Today, we will celebrate our father's life and legacy with the community because it is something that my mother did every year that for as long as I can remember with my sisters and, and, and just the larger community, we will also seek justice for a, a man, a very young man, he was only 39 years old, who gave his life for human rights. For years, our family has fought for the truth to come to light concerning his murder. And we'd like our father to receive the justice that he deserves. The truth about the circumstances leading to the death of our father is important, not only to his family, but to many followers, many admirers, many who look to him for guidance, for love. And it is our hope that litigation of this case will finally provide some unanswered questions. We want justice served for our father. Thank you. We are going to talk to those individuals who were wrongfully convicted, not just of the assassination, but in the days leading up to the assassination, that we believe this was an orchestrated effort. And so what we have to do is connect the dots. And, you know, as people get older, as they get ready to meet their maker, the hope is that they would look at Malcolm X's daughters and say, we wronged them and we need to make that right before we leave this earth.